Yo, what's good? It's your boy Patrick A.A. Patty, a.k.a. Patty Freaking Clips, here again with yet another special video. Today we're doing something a little unique, as you saw by the thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of my characters uh, one by one, uh, try to keep it short, uh, do a couple different videos. Uh, for this one, we're going to use who is currently my main DPS uh, due to the fact that um, I have my max constellations. I don't have uh, uh, my, my guy Deluke yet. I've been robbed. Uh, and you'll see once I if I d did a character full character breakdown, you see all my characters uh, and how many uh, duplicates I've gotten uh, and how bad my luck has been. Uh, but for this video, we're just gonna go over her real quick. Uh, and then if people like it, if you like it, leave a comment below uh, your favorite character. I'll see if I got them or where they're at up for me. Uh, and even if I don't have them high leveled or anything like that, uh, like I do for uh, Xing Ling. Uh, then I'll try to go over it and, and give you a little brief details, maybe some builds that are good. Obviously, this stuff is just my personal opinion. This has nothing to do with the actual character uh, or the design. It's just purely based on gameplay. So I'll go over uh, Xiong Ling first. Uh, so let's get to it. And we got her in a special spot. Obviously, quick little bio. Uh, if you know you play the story, obviously, uh, you probably have seen it already. From Leo, uh, obviously, she is a cook, a chef. Uh, this would be her restaurant, and that would be her dad in the window. Um, so pretty, pretty straightforward. She likes to cook. She likes spicy food. Um, all that stuff you probably would have seen already in the uh, in the story. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, for me. I'm currently uh, AR 47, um, which means the max character or max level I can have a character currently is 80. Uh, so she is max for me. Um, so uh, real quick, just in the way that I use her, um, you can see some of my characters here on the top. Uh, I do have quite a bit of characters. Not everyone's leveled up, um, but in terms of uh, my squad, she has been my main DPS for quite a while. Uh, I think most people just break down characters in three categories. Main DPS, sub DPS, or support. Um, there's not too many true supports, but there are characters that uh, do good, do a good job uh, that end up healing. Uh, obviously, Barbara, uh, Chi Chi, uh, Jean can do it as well. Uh, that end up kind of falling into that support category. I think sometimes sub DPS can be sort of slash support as well. But for me, uh, Xiong Ling is uh, definitely my main DPS. Um, most of the time, my other characters are comboing uh, to get elemental reactions off of her. Um, which is one of the things people say is one of her downfalls. Uh, one of her faults is that uh, her skills are not targeted. Uh, and they do take like a little bit of... Uh, practice to aim them uh, Goomba kind of does his own thing uh, sometimes he doesn't exactly uh, shoot where you want him to and her ult obviously uh, does rotate around you but I'll get into her, her abilities and stuff like that here in a second so uh, real quick um, we'll go over uh, what the ascension process is looking like for her uh, so currently as you can see I can't um, ascend her yet uh, I do have the uh, pretty much have these stuff I gotta get the slime concentrate, but um, for her, uh, from level one on uh, up, she is always obviously gonna use the Everflame Seed uh, that you're gonna go ahead and get from the uh, the Pyro Regivine, uh, as well as the uh, Ju Yong Chilies um, that are in the uh, village, uh, and then slimes. So it slowly moves up as you get the character higher and higher. So this would be the base level um, slimes that you would start with. Uh, to go ahead and ascend her. Uh, as you can see, uh, Elemental Mastery is going to go up. Uh, you do want Elemental Mastery over like 200-ish if you're going to use somebody's abilities uh, primarily. Um, so for me, I think she would be best as a sub DPS, like a secondary DPS, uh, with uh, the Luke as the main DPS. The reason being, once we go into her uh, into her talents, you'll see why she really fits really well with another. Uh, pyro dps um and in my opinion i think like he is perfect phenomenal uh and would be uh, probably the best uh so weapons i'm not gonna go too in depth on weapons um 
There are a lot of weapons you can run. Obviously, I got lucky and have a five star, um, the Jade Wing Spear, uh, which go ahead and gives you a uh, attack damage uh, on hit for a certain amount of time. Um, but anything, depending on how you're using her, if you're using her for basic attacks or if you're using her for abilities, um, you know, there's tons you can go with uh, in terms of weapons. Um, so even some of the best weapons for some of the best characters aren't five star uh, gotcha weapons. So. Um, don't, don't, uh, you know, whatever you have, you can end up using, uh, as long as you level it up. I do have this one, obviously the 80, uh, she is my main carry at the moment. Uh, so artifacts, so we're going to go in real quick, just for what I have and what I think is good on her, uh, depending on what you're, uh, using her for. Like I said, uh, for me, she is main DPS. Uh, so these obviously might not be perfect. Um, but I focus a lot on energy recharge as well as mastery, uh, to get her pyro damage really high up um, currently I do have the gladiators uh, finale the gladiator set on her um, anyone who's just sword cold plum uh, gets her normal attack damage about 35% the reason being like I said for me I do use her in a, in a main DPS role where she is auto attacking a lot um, which she does have a really fast combo uh, so that's why gladiator is is decent uh, but gladiator also is interchangeable with the bloodstained Calvary uh, which does give you physical damage uh, increase 25%, which is obviously higher. Um, so probably a little bit better. Uh, but if you're going to lean more towards the elemental damage, uh, you have the Crimson Witch of Flames. I can show some of these as well. Um, so you've got the Witch's Scorching Hat, which is part of the Crimson Witch of Flames, which gives you pyro damage. Uh, obviously increases the effects as well. Um, so for me, I'm using uh, Xiang Ling and... Uh, official um, as a combo so I get overloaded literally constantly it's super super easy so um, these are super easy super dope crimson witch this is if you have her as a sub DPS you're focusing on her bows a lot I think this set obviously would be uh, a little bit better um, but here's a bloodstained mask um, this is part of the bloodstained uh, chivalry the physical damage plus 25 and then after you defeat an opponent, uh, your charge attack is uh, increased by 50% and reduces its stamina cost to zero. So you can spam charge attacks. For her, I actually don't like her charge attack too much. Um, she dashes through enemies. Uh, it's To me, it's not the greatest. So, um, I mean, you know, people may disagree. But um, And then real quick, just to go over it, we also have the Nobles uh, um, Oblige. Uh, which gives you the elemental burst uh, increase and also increases your whole party's damage. Uh, for me, I didn't know about um, having it on two people. If she dropped to a support role for me because I got Diluke, then I probably would go ahead and give her this uh, or the Witch's Flame. It's it's a, it's a toss-up between um, between those two, to be honest, for me, uh, if she moved to that uh, true sub-DPS. But then real quick, I obviously have... Uh, one random wanderers troop um, because it gives attack as well as recharge uh, so um, figure just toss that on her is not too bad uh, so now we'll get into some important stuff obviously uh, any character anybody who's familiar with Genshin knows as character gets co their constellation uh, as you get them multiple times um, as you're rolling uh, it does increase their might uh, and they get much much better um, so real quick, I'll just go over them. Obviously, the first constellation isn't the best. Uh, it just reduces uh, pyro resistance by 15%. It will make you do more damage. It's only six seconds, so to me, it really isn't the best. Uh, but it's not that bad. Uh, the last attack in a normal sequence uh, implodes um, an opponent for two seconds. Uh, and it does an explosion. And then it deals 75% of her damage as AoE pyro. Uh, so essentially, if you're autoing someone, that last hit, which for her combo, if you know, knocks an opponent back. I'd also do that implode status um, and then deal AOE damage. So super, super good. Um, and then we get into the, the important stuff. Uh, so just real quick, a lot of people don't realize this, that uh, it does increase the level, but it also increases the max level. Uh, so max level would normally be 10, but if you have all the constellations, those talents jump up to 15. And when I get the talents, I'll show you where I'm at. And also what you need for those. Um, Pyronado is your uh, elemental burst, your ultimate, essentially. Uh, duration is increased by 40%, which is humongous. 
Uh, so you pretty much have it all the time. Uh, the Goomba uh, level up. And then this is pretty insane. And, th and this is why I said um, with that Luke or somebody like that, uh, this would be massive. You get a 15% um, pyro bonus uh, for the whole duration. So when you have the increase of 40% on top of getting 15% bonus, uh, on top of the 25% that you get for having two pyro units in a, in a squad, um, that's why I think she truly is a uh, support that shines with a um, main DPS pyro, uh, which I think it, the, nobody could deny the best right now would be uh, Duke. So uh, as you can see for our talents, um, I'm kind of in between. Uh, I've leveled to the point I can. Uh, now I'm at the point where you do need these, um, these materials that drop randomly. I haven't been too lucky. And haven't got any for her yet. Most likely, I would. Um, it's a toss-up. Level up, Goomba or Pyronado. It's it's close, close uh, for me. It's kind of a tough, tough choice. But uh, she does use diligence. Uh, so the lower levels, obviously, she'll use the uh, lower uh, diligence books, the uh, Leo books. Um, once again, it is slimes. Uh, then once you get to this point, you will go ahead and need the uh, Devlin's Claw, um, which is a random drop. Uh, so for a normal attack, I currently have it at 6, uh, which is okay. Not too bad if the um, cap is 10. It's there, you know. Uh, her Gomba and Pyronado have obviously uh, jumped up to 15. But I currently have one at 9, the other at 8. And once again, like I said, I am tied up by not having the, uh, the Claw. So once I get it, uh, we'll be able to go ahead and level... Uh, one or both of these up. Uh, this guy actually can level up. Um, I think I got one more level before I need the the claw. So, uh, yep. Uh, having the talents leveled up, having the constellations, obviously is where you're getting the most out of your characters. So, it does kind of come down to chance. A little bit pay to win type stuff. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, real quick, I'll go over a couple of talents uh, that she unlocks as you get her constellations. The first being... The flame range of Gomba. Uh, it's not the best, but it is cool. I know a lot of people have issues with the aim. Uh, dropping it kind of does whatever it wants. Not really aiming uh, where you want it to go. I don't necessarily see that problem too much. Uh, I think once you get the hang of it, she, uh, it's really good. And uh, obviously, uh, I think she's very good. Um, as she's remained my main DPS for almost the whole duration of uh, Genshin. Uh, the even better one is Beware Super Hot. Uh, this passive is very, very good. Uh, so the Goomba ends up on a low cooldown. Um, I wonder if it has it on here. 12 seconds. So the cooldown is 12 seconds. When it ends, it drops a pepper that you can pick up that gives you 10% uh, attack for 10 seconds. Uh, so based on the cooldown and the 10% uh, attack, you you essentially have 10% attack the entire time. Uh, because there's only a two second difference. So if you're including switching characters for elemental reactions and stuff like that, uh, essentially you have that 10% the entire duration of a fight, uh, which is massive. And then she does have a cooking passive. Obviously, she uh, she should, considering she's a sh uh, chef. Uh, when you cook an attack boosting, uh, she has 12% chance to double her product. Not, not too good um, for the cooking. Uh, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, so for me... Uh, that's going to be uh, just about it for the uh, Xingling, um bio and breakdown showing uh, exactly where I have her. I currently have a level 80, obviously. Uh, max weapon, max artifacts, max constellation. Um, not a flex, just, uh, you know, want people to know how I feel about the character as a whole. I think as a main DPS, she's probably mid-tier. Uh, that's just my opinion. I honestly don't think... Uh, I think she's better when you're relying on her abilities. They both last when you change characters, so you don't need her um, to stay on the field. I think she would be best with uh, another pyro um, who's going to go ahead and do damage. Uh, so as a sub DPS, kind of like uh, in a semi-support role, I think she's top tier. Like I said, both abilities do last uh, quite a while, as well as giving you 10% bonus damage. Um, so I think in a sub, sub DPS role, I think she would be top tier. I think it would be probably S tier. Probably, I, I wouldn't. I, it's hard to say, but I would say she's probably top three. I'd put her up there with uh, some of the best uh, sub DPS slash supports in the game, uh, in my opinion. Uh, if I had the Luke, 
my team would be unbeatable. I would challenge all you nerds, and I would win. Um, so uh, that's going to be it for the Xiong Li, uh, the Xiong Ling, um, like bio breakdown. That's my opinion on the character. I do, uh, I do like her a lot. I think the one thing I would change is the bell. I hate hearing her bell. She's a little bell that always goes off um, when you're running around. Uh, it's really annoying. But uh, other than that, I do think she's very good. Like I said, for me, she is my main DPS. Um, and if you guys uh, enjoy this type of content or want to see a specific character, please leave a comment below. We'll try to get to it. I'll show you what I got. Uh, if you do want to see my terrible luck, I can go through all my characters uh, as well as their consolations. Uh, so you can mock me in the comments. Um, and please direct me to whoever I need to uh, reach out to to get my luck fixed. Uh, but that's going to be it. I appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you again soon, alright? For your favorite character.